My name is Robert Kemba. Uh, I'm an MSc candidate um, in economic geology at the University of Witwatersrand in South Africa. We work in several jurisdictions all over the world. And because of that, there's a lot of different things to take into consideration. So um, being in different jurisdictions mean, means change in cultures, uh, change in governments um, or variances in policy. Uh, local authority guidelines. So there's several aspects there. Um, and a number of factors come into being respectful to cultures, uh, being mindful of what's, uh, what's the law of the land um, and what policies you need to follow and to what extent. One of the main things um, any entity needs to do is to have de a dedicated staff or dedicated teams uh, that to sit and think about all the different aspects of social licensing to, um, to operate. Uh, for example, if you're, in the, if you're commencing a project in Zambia, as an example, um, there's going to be a, a little bit to navigate in terms of uh, local chieftainships, uh, which, um, you know, if you're on another part of the world, that may not be as, uh, as, as prevalent. Um, so being able to understand um, who are the prominent people within a setting um, and what are the requirements that they sort of feel in the immediate sort of short term and what's their vision for their own community in the long term. In Zambia, for example, um, there are entities that the government has sort of began, um, ministries surrounding um, looking after local uh, communities and, and chieftainships. You know, mining is a very long process. You can have um, a mine that's open for five years, you could have a mine that's open for 40 years. Now, what this means is there's several aspects that come into play. So employment is a big one. Um, training for local staff is another one. Uh, and this can be done through apprenticeships, through company scholarships and, and those sort of things. Uh, there's also um, a lot of stakeholder engagement on um, a field that's of particular interest in a company, in a country, sorry. So, for example, if agriculture is big in a certain area, um, then the impact that can be most felt there is training local communities to become better farmers, for example. Um, and it's those sort of outreach programs and communities, co sorry, corporate social responsibility programs, which can make the most impact for um, mining to actually have a long-term positive impact in a, in a particular area.